Hey everyone, this is Robin with another skit tip. Today we're going to go into the import menu. And more specifically, we can import friends and photos and everything. I want to go just draw. And the reason why I like to use draw is because I don't have to start with a photo. I mean, most people already have quite a few things down here to play with. Things that they've imported before, um, or things that skit came from. So you can always import stuff here, but let's just focus on what we already have. So say I drag on this picture of the Eiffel Tower, which comes with Skit. Um, this is a background by default, but I can actually, if I want to use this Eiffel Tower in something, I can use the Crop tool and just kind of, you know, layer my hand around, you know, draw a nice outline. It doesn't have to be perfect, really. Um, and the Crop tool takes care of the rest. Now, if I'm really picky, I can make the brush big, use the eraser, and try to get, like, extra thin right next to it. Um, but, you know, this kind of takes a lot of time, and, and in most cases, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so a lot of times, I, I just skip this step. But just so you can see, if you just start with the outside and work your way in, uh, you, can, you can get a nice result instead of, instead of starting on the inside. You can kind of wait for it to affect the, the side, and then stop moving. So that's not bad for an Eiffel Tower. Um, if I hit save now, remember this was a background, which means with the background, they're audit at added automatically to the background of the skit. Um, in this case, though, I want to change it to a text. And the reason why is that text objects are always on top of everything else. Te maybe text is a bad word for it, so I can call it tower. Um, so when I name it as text, now it saves, it added this to my scene, it saves it in, in my library here, and now when I add uh, I don't know, maybe Vegas, I have the picture of uh, the Eiffel Tower here. And what's even better is that all the characters that are walking up and down the strip in Vegas, um, they all can now walk behind the Eiffel Tower because the Eiffel Tower is a text object. And that's the cool thing about text objects is that they just, they help you layer things um, to, to have you kind of a, give you foreground elements. Mm -hmm.